Good evening, Sensei. Hey. Hang on before I speak. Brad, what's the count? We're 27. 27. I guess, I guess we can begin. <laughs> okay. I thought last week, I uh, uh, enjoyed that. I thought it went well. I like that sense of uh, three different people in the healing trade, but with different aspects. Uh, but what I heard was, how they had their basics and then they went another level, could see sense work better. And they went another level, could see sense work better. Uh, and each one, I believe, said that. Uh, so that was nice. Uh, and it's like, uh, that's sort of it a certain way. You've got your job, your career, uh, and to be able to settle whatever form you're using to get to a better level of you where the energies are better. So things function better, more harmonious, da, 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 whatever. Uh, that's sort of the game. Uh, uh, in Aikido, that's the game. Supposedly also, uh, I it's possible that a lot of the inner better level of yourself has been omitted or people do a little bit and then go out there more and more and more and sort of forgot what the the, the more of the inner is is my, would be my my bitch anyway any comments on last week any carryover rah rah talk you can open mic feel free to speak Where'd you get out of last week? Well, I'll start off, Sensei. This is Lauren. I, I found it a really lively discussion, and I was impressed by the consistency of the insight from the three different people. That, but uh, that was my first impression, and I'm sure other people had more to say. We're waiting for them to say something. <laughs> Hello out there. You could always just call on somebody. Yeah, I don't mind. Um, what did you say, Danny? Hey, Danny. Good to see you again. Um, yeah, last week's last was very enjoyable. I um. It was interesting listening to the, the three people, I guess on the other side of what I'm doing, I'm receiving help in a medical way. And in particular at the moment uh, with acupuncture and with someone who very much works with me and um, she deepens the level that she's working at whilst I deepen the level that I receive. And, um, and I use uh, the system that you've been showing us, Sensei, of self and the domain. And I found that, um, um, first of all, very encouraging for me as a person that I can um, work in a really positive way w with um, my own healing. And another particular interest is how I feel self and, and and how it communicates back to me as I dialogue with it and request the help of the healing self um, in my recovery um, and also the, the remarkable thing that I find about it is that it's so every time I'm engaging or I get to that deeper part of myself how different it is every time and um, in in particular how it looks and how it receives me um, and how I'm affected by it in a very um, very strong way in often I feel pulled away 
like into my head and I'm always reminded to deepen and deepen um, as you suggest and feel and the feeling part of it is most um, enlightening to the depth of feeling that I'm able to um, experience and right. I would say that my healing is not going as I would like it to go however um, the feedback from other people, lots of other people, is that hey, you're looking great and you're doing really well. So better their feedback than mine, I think, sometimes. If, yes, it's normal that uh, you're the last one to know. So either those people are lying to you, which is a possibility, <laughs> uh, but do be prepared for you're the last one to, to know. I mean, if somebody says, wow, you're really being nice lately to me, for example, I admit, really? Because I'm the last one to know if there's such a change. <laughs> uh, also, you use the words uh, uh, pulled out from this inner dot, 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 uh, pulled out. I, I might also say, pushed out because this inner is more closer to a source of more everything power for example uh it has a lot of pushability so i kind of would consider that more of being a pushed out so i've got to hit it better and fuller and experience it more or uh, anchor for lack of words don't know if that's a good word but to anchor there at that level Okay, if you keep hovering around saying, well, I'm talking to myself, you might be hovering around and ping, it pushes to self is experiencing itself. So after a bit, I would stop um, maybe talking to self and feel what and experience self, which is me experiencing itself kind of thing. Uh, uh, I don't know, is it talking to itself? I don't know. But to talk to it, uh, put you on a spiral around it, that'll be easier to get kicked off. So to be it, feeling itself, experiencing itself. And yes, it's dialoguing there with itself kind of thing. Don't know if I said that well at all, but. No, that's great. Anything. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is Florida Diane on tonight? I'm sorry, Sensei. Linda had her uh, uh, hand raised. Okay. Hi there. Not Diane. Hey. Was surprised <laughs> surprised to see myself pop up. Um, thank you. Yeah, this was a a small thing from last week, but it really struck me. One of the things that got me thinking of things in a little different way when you, I believe it was you, were talking about um, how we, we have too many spiritual rules about like prerequisites and stepwise, we have to be a perfectly loving person before we can, yeah. whatever, um, you know, <clears throat> that there's, there's a, it, it's uh, so prescribed, we can't just go bam and, and change something or become aware of something. So I've been just noticing that. Yeah. No, I think it's, a, again, a human condition where uh, those rules, uh, whatever the right word is for that, uh, can be a hindrance in a certain way. So to come to better terms with them, I'm lacking words about that at the moment. But, uh, but yeah, that's why I throw up my old story. Yeah, I'd, you know, I'd like to meditate, but my understanding is you have to be loving to meditate. I mean, that's it. Bing, no nado allowed here, which turned out to be bullshit. Uh, but there was that belief. I must have heard it from someplace, read it someplace, and it was keeping me out. Or sit on the right kind of cushion or yeah. whatever. Sit yeah. this way. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So whatever yeah <laughs> so thank you that sort of opens things up it'd be so yeah it should be so it's there it's you it's yours yeah yeah mm. anyway uh, thank you 
Thank you. Uh, again, is uh, Florida Diana? She's not here, Sensei. And not here. Someone else has their hand raised. Okay. You're on, Ken. Uh, hi, Bob. Hey. Uh, yeah, I, I um, uh, actually throughout the years, um, I've had experiences where, um, I've had uh, you know, healings happen on these different levels that that you talked about in the you know uh even though that was the model you know i realized that wasn't the whole thing that you were talking about um but uh i, I it, it call it sort of reminded me uh that it's possible that we we feel unwell for some reason and maybe there's a maybe you're not eating the right food you know maybe there's a simple biological cause and maybe you tweaked your something doing something but maybe the symptoms coming from a, a more subtle le level and uh, that might be the place to go look for um, I remember uh, Julian Silverman uh, uh, who was boss of Esalen for a while and he, he really liked the word dis-ease I love that word I love it. I mean, he, he would say it with that flavor, and I got to like the word too. Uh, uh, so at at ease, we could say it's being sort of squared away in harmony with to whatever level, and disease is when you're not. And I, I kind of like that word or that sense of that word. Yeah. Right. So you know, these days they talk about not pathologizing everything. Yeah. You know, you don't have to make it into a an illness. A pathology. Um, you have some discomfort, some dis ease, and yeah. you know, investigate it. See what you can do yeah. about it. That's true. I, don't we do that a lot with if someone's really off uh, the, and mentally off too? They start to, that they, they want to be a medical term because they're feeling screwed up, and somebody will come up with a medical term for it. And you know, now it's suddenly a heavy duty something. Well, now we can give them a Yeah, but really? Now we can give them a pill for it once we have it. Oh, and then that's it. The follow-up guys. Oh, <laughs> let's make a buck on this one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Pathetic. Anyway, human yeah. condition, people. Human condition. Yeah. Sad. Sad indeed. Okay. Um, anything else before we talk about one by two by three by again tonight? No, that's it. Okay, what to say about one by two by? A couple of people I, I uh, like, appreciate their view and stuff. Really like the one by two by three by. Uh, uh, I always thought it was kind of cool, and uh, so get some feedback from a, uh, a couple other guys that uh, I appreciate their sense of things, and they thought it was really cool. Uh, so let's hope you all think there's something there for you. Uh, uh, I'm going to stand up after a bit. On the one by, I, I really want to remind you to, to feel. We're going to box ourselves in there a bit. I want you to actually feel the one by. Not just say, okay, let's see, it's a, it's a smaller space. What should I think? What should I make out about this? As I no, feel it, experience it. And one reason I would like you to really feel a one by limitation is, uh, let's say in daily life, we get pushed into a, a tighter level of ourselves from a robber to a Bobby to beginning to be a weird Bobby, that I recognize that as soon as possible so I don't go too far to uh, where I'm really crazy. Uh, uh, and this has been mentioned before where I try to get you to, to feel an energy push. You say sort of recognize when, when, when you're being pushed a bit because the push is going to not just be physical, but it's going to spin you off into a certain train of thought and further out and weirder. Uh, so to actually experience the limitations of a one by that can give you a, a warning buzzer, a uh, uh, I need a word. Help me with a word, Harry. Huh? An alarm. 
an, an alarm that you're starting to get a little boxed in there. And uh, my old phrasing, don't sign a contract if you find yourself getting anywhere near a one by one. Do not have a heart to heart with your spouse. Do not drive faster. That, you know, dumb stuff like that. So to recognize where you are on this lineage of Bobby, Robert, not Doe, or in this case, a one by a two by, which is a fair day, sort of three by, which is not a bad day. Hey, it's a good day uh, kind of pattern. Uh, if we have time tonight, I'd like to slip in a four by. Uh, uh, last time we did one, two, three by. I'd like to slip in a four by if we have time. Uh, in bringing that up, did any anybody out there who has done the one by two by three by class last year when we did it um, get sort of an excitement? Oh boy, we're going to do a four by. Did anyone get anything like like that? Absolutely, I I can't remember the last time I saw a four by. Uh, then to throw a wet blanket over our Friday night party here, I have to say, I introduce one by two by three by as a general direction and a simple pattern that I found pretty simple and useful and other people found it simple and useful uh, that you were free this last year to do a four by to do a five by nobody stopped you you had the pattern you had one two three then you do four you had a four then you can do a five uh so i wanted to throw a bit of a wet blanket over you guys who got excited and said people it's been there all for a whole year did you yourself do a four so to bitch i just wanted to bitch that's all you okay with that bitch kenny i'm i'm so glad to help uh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ah. Uh, let's see. One by two by three by four by. <clears throat> Remember, uh, that's basically just a dimensional approach. Uh, certain level dimensionality, things are a little heavier. So I'm heavier. The world around me is starting to show heavier. That's how I see it. Finer dimension, we're calling it two by. It's just dimensionality. And it's here and now. And we have different ways of moving into it. We can settle. We can clear. We can trade in. We can downtime. And then the next is light again. Ah, to be at that next level. And if it takes you a, a, some minutes on that trade in or changing from uh, one to a two to two to a three, uh, you'll get better at it and faster with it. Uh, I thought we did pretty fast last year. I'm just tromping through a one by two by. We, what we used for reference was actual stepping. Uh, uh, tonight I might... We'll do that pattern of stepping for one and two. Uh, on three, I might change the pattern and, and not use stepping, but to remind you about, we could downtime this, we could trade trade two in. When you trade in the whole world of two, three is beginning to show, or whatever forms of uh, uh, that you like that we've sort of covered, right? Letting go, trading in, uh, uh, clearing, da 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 da, on and on and on. So find your own comfortable forms. Uh, blah blah. Anybody? Anything before uh, uh, I stand up and we do a uh, one by to start? Anything? Anything? Cold down here tonight. Nothing? And again? Zilch? Nada? Shayan, Chris okay. here from New Zealand. I'm sorry, who? who Chris from New Zealand. Okay. I hey, caught Chris. up with you 
uh, going the down instead of going up to just sort of see what's happening with myself if I'm upset or something's going on within me, go into the negative, you know, from one to half to quarter, not quite that fast. Sort of if, I, if I go a quarter, I'm gone, man. I'm crazy, man. I don't go that tight. <laughs> well, I did slice slight thinner, <laughs> but it was quite interesting. And then sort of to know that you can shift out was quite nice. Yes, yes. No, when I introduced this uh, to my, uh, had a group of therapists in LA for a long period of time. I think we had a monthly classes ongoing for a year, year and a half, I don't remember. Uh, but they love tightening in, tightening in. And they got to experience their own style of insanity. They love that game. And they all recognize their own style of insanity. They were versed enough in their own craziness. With it. Oh, yeah, that's me. I'm crazy. Uh, but again, and the ability of getting out of there, <laughs> going back to sanity and a bit better. Yeah, that's cute. Thank you. Yeah. I noticed mine change. I checked it out for a moment the other day. Uh, uh, my old one, uh, tightening in, tightening in, tightening in. I'm, I'm para paranoid or whatever. I'm paranoid. Uh, I, I did one the other day, uh, tightening in, tightening in. And it was something else. I, I don't remember right now to go over it again. It wasn't that important uh, for me, but just uh, I just noticed, oh, this is not that one. It's so, so I've changed through the years. Uh, whatever. Okay. It was a different kind of insanity, a potentiality, but I'm blank on what it was right now. Uh, okay. Standing. Oop. Ah. Oopa, oopa. Okay, there we are. Uh, uh, we got a new microphone, so checking. Can you hear me okay? Hear you okay. fine, and say thank you. Fine. Okay. Ah, hi, hi. Okay, okay. Ah, we're coming down in. So, uh, bring it on in a bit. Bring it on in a bit. Okay. Easy. Get ready to feel. It's thinking. And if next, they're probably thinking about feeling. The thinking aspect is tricky. No actual feeling. And I figure I'm thinking about actual feeling a bit. <laughs> actual, actual feeling. Okay, now here's our setup. One step, boom, and there's a wall here. One step. And there's a wall here, corresponding wall here and here and a ceiling here. Okay. So in the middle of that, that and the energies that are there, that's all that exists. That's all you get. There is no more right now. You cannot think your way out of this about uh, how nice it is in Hawaii or whatever. This is it, people. You're in a one by one. The energies available to you, the qualities that are within those energies, energies, qualities for me are about the same. The qualities that are there are your quality. So everybody could be a bit different in their one by one because their qualities are different. The energies, qualities that are there, mix up you, a character person, okay? So in this sense, it's mixing up a, some level of a bobby, okay? Feel yourself. The energies are mixing you up. Breathe yourself. Feel yourself. Again, it's a limited amount. We're in a one by one. Feel yourself. Feel yourself. For example, first things I'm noticing, uh, a hesitancy, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, even physically, if you ask me to step out strong uh, or hit the line, I, uh, I can't really do it. If I do it, it'll be half-assed. 
I'll do it in a hesitant manner. I'm not sure. That's mine. What's your sense of anything here as we mix up a little bit better? A person, you, in a one-by-one -one situation? No, a one-by-one -one world. A one-by-one world. Feel your body. I, I know it's so hard to straighten up for, for me. There's a starting to be a stronger catch in my back. I kind of prefer here, believe it or not. This feels strange. I, it's a strain. I, I sort of can't do it very well or I don't want to do it. This is natural. Hey, hey, hi, how are you? Huh? And I doubt if I would smile as a one by one. Feel yourself, feel yourself. The energies mix up you character. Feel yourself. Okay. I, I, I noticed my foot planning is not well. I sort of staggered a second ago. I didn't make that up. I, I, I feel staggering. The sense of having deeper feet or anything like that is beyond me. This is the fact right here. I'm sort of, sort of staggering on the surface. Brad, what do you think? My, uh, first, my joints are a little stiff. Okay. They don't move. I mean, I move okay, but it's not, you know, great. Um, like I said, just, just stiff. Okay. Cold, frozen joints. Okay. Ah. Feeling yourself, feeling yourself, feeling yourself. What's your view of a situation? What's your view of the world or a situation? What's your, what's Bobby's view? What's your Bobby's view? You're a one by one. It's the way things are and I can't do anything about it. Okay, yeah. It's not gonna get any better, it just yeah. is. The way they are, why bother? It's not gonna get any better. Just the way they are. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I would tire out fast. I can feel that. I don't have good endurance here in any sense of the word endurance. You're a one by one. One by one. It's interesting. I might. Tummy's kind of pulling in. And this part is pulling into his whole range here, it's pulling in. If this keeps pulling in that way, I'm going to begin, begin to doubt my manhood. Sure as hell. <laughs> no, I'm already doubting my manhood. <laughs> He's not sure about anything. Should we take a break and talk about it? Open mic. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Bob? Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's it, it's it's a miracle I could ever get past one by because the one by guy is pissed off, annoyed, and doesn't want to do anything. He's, he's just leave me alone. <laughs> just be pissed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think every neighborhood has has one guy or one person that lives in a one by one. <laughs> just don't bother him. He's pissed all the time at everybody for anything, right? Right, right. Get you got him. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So again, I wanted you to feel uh, some of the physical things. So if they ever hit you during the day, if I feel myself being pulled in or slouching overly, uh, well, Katya will get on my case. But <laughs> anyway, uh, I'd like to catch it before I get too far. So that's why I wanted you to really feel, not just think about this stuff, but to feel it. And then there'll be thoughts of a one by one naturally there. But to just have thoughts about them without the feeling, 
it's not a good habit, even in a one by one. Okay, so more feeling about it. So you'll recognize it if we ever get squashed into that level or anywhere near it. Okay, open mic. Somebody? Uh, since this is Lauren. Yes. And I'm just going to add my spotlight here. Uh, just uh, by contrast to Steve, who just described how the one by one Steve is uh, pissed off, the one by one Lauren felt like a, a victim like no options to get out of the way of anything. And, uh, you know, whatever was going to happen, couldn't, uh, couldn't dodge it, couldn't, uh, you know, uh, maneuver. And yeah. so that felt like, you know, didn't like that feeling at all. Yeah. It's equally distasteful, but it's completely different from what Steve described. Yeah. I, I, I also, I didn't think to do it tonight, but to ask the Aikido people as a one by one, what techniques they wouldn't do if they were in fact could make it to the mat. And an example with Lauren would, would be no ski, no fast ski, because I can't get out of the way. <laughs> and and, and, you know you can. Been, and it's always been a challenge for me. And uh, uh, Aha! <laughs> ah, he's carrying a touch of one by one. Aha. <laughs> the other thing I wanted to share was that I felt that when we did this the first time last year, uh, we were all in lockdown and it, the one by one, we felt like, I felt like we were living in a one by one and the exercise as we went to two by two and three by three, which produced such a sense of relief and expansion without any change in the physical reality or constraints of daily life. It was really, you know, instructive really, really instructive. And so uh, uh, we're not so physically confined anymore, but I think it still uh, really works. I can't change that. I can change me. Yes. Yes. It was. Da-da. Da -da. Uh, yeah. yeah. Perhaps someone else has something to add. Yeah. Somebody. This is Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Hi. Yeah, my physical experience of a one by one me was my chest got tight and it was more difficult to breathe. And as far as how I relate to situations, I didn't want to be bothered. I just wanted the problem or whoever it was coming to me to go away and leave me alone. Yeah, yeah I remember, I think from last year, I wouldn't pick up the phone. You know, if the phone rang, I wouldn't want to pick it up because I will not want to hear anything or deal with anything. So I, I can relate. Yeah. Thank you, Patrick. Yeah. Yeah, Sensei, this is Tom. Yeah. Uh, I I feel as I concur with Patrick. And my experience even today was catching myself if I was holding my breath as if I wasn't breathing. And I'm standing over a task and I suddenly take a huge gasp of air in and realize for the last minute I wasn't really breathing. And that's the one by one that I that I often feel. Yeah. So again, trying to give people a, a, a warning sign if you like to use breathing as any kind of daily reference, whatever, uh, to notice if it starts to get that way, knowing it's going to get that way, uh, uh, let you know you're heading too tight, careful. And if you can, move into a better level. If you can't, be careful. Okay. Just know it's not the ultimate reality, but you're stuck there for a bit. That's fine. Just be careful. I didn't say it was great and you're going to have fun there, but just be careful. Maybe time to just watch a dumb movie. Okay. <sighs> well, since this is Lauren again, if I could just jump on that, that it's my personal experience that uh, when I get wound up, I will tilt forward. And not only if I'm walking, but if I'm in a, a you know, at a meeting or something, I'll get that very distinctive collapse, just like you described. Yeah. And it's a tell for me that I'm getting into a one by. Yeah. And if I take that moment and simply stand up 
or straighten up and one breath will actually change my attitude mm -hmm. and my sense. So it's not just that when you move to the two by, you get to feel like you're standing up more, but if you stand up more, it helps move you to a two by yeah. in my, in my own experience. Yeah. So. Yeah, uh, these moves can get faster. That sounded like a faster form or something. They should be able to get faster with these things. We okay on a one by? No one happened hey, to mute. Gina. Gina, yes, Gina. This was so much more intense than last year. I mean, I almost started crying immediately. I felt <laughs> so trapped. And my skin hurt, and then it started to go deeper. I don't think I've ever felt like this. <laughs> it was scary. <laughs> Life is scary. Life is scary. <laughs> Help. Yeah. Help. Yeah. Whoa. I'm not going back there. <laughs> yeah. Or, uh, well, Kenny and I were talking about, or what Kenny was talking about, uh, uh, something about what you said about the, the, the skin. Uh, Kenny, weren't we talking about something about uh, tighter disease kind of things, tighter illness? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I thought hers was interesting that the skin itself actually, yeah. I got to go to a skin doctor. No, you don't, lady. You got to get out of the one by one first. <laughs> we'll go further than that. We'll talk, tap deeper, finer, so it can radiate out through. And within that is a healing potential. So different topic another time. But OK, are we all right on one by one? Should we move into a two by two? Thank God, a two by two. OK. Uh, let's walk it. Uh, let's walk a two by two. Okay, easy. So there we are. Ah, okay, one, two, click. Okay, one, two, click. Ah, there. Okay, walls a little bit more here. See a little bit, a little bit more. Uh, okay, two by two, two by two. Okay, I can hang up for a bit. There's a little more energy in a two by two. It mixes you, character, body, feel yourself. The energy's here. Feel yourself. Ah, two by two amount of energies. Feel yourself. I already notice I'm breathing better, fuller, deeper. My chest feels a little chestier. And it tells me I can sort of be positive out there. Certain amount of positiveness. These are mine, yours, are yours. Two by two mixes up me as a two by two. -er. Ah, little change of name. I don't like Bobby so much here. Uh, so I'm going to lean more towards Robert. Feel yourself as a two by two. Feel yourself. Oh, my foot uh, connection is deeper through the ground. Remember on my one, I was staggering on top of the surface. Here I have a little bit of depth of foot. Feel yourself. Feel yourself. A little more backup. Got some back support. Boom, boom. If we're doing a walk under pressure right now, my two by two, he's not fantastic, but he's not bad. He's, he's, he's not bad. He's backed up almost flow, not quite a flow yet, but getting close. Feel yourself, feel yourself. Feel yourself. You're not perfect. That's why I call it a, a fair day. Bad day, fair day. Now we have degrees, depends on how you're playing. It could be a, a good fair day or a fair, fair day. It's your, your call as to where you're at. 
Ah, feel yourself. Feel yourself. Ah, uh, pretty good. My underpinnings, my legs it's area, it's not bad, but it could be stronger. It's not bad, but I'm aware. Uh, if I were at the gym pumping iron, uh, I would tell it's time to do more leg work. I'd have to do more squats, more extension, something. I want to build this up a bit. Not quite. This upper part feels much stronger than this part here. So if I were barbelling, I work this area heavily this month. What's your view of the world, or at least the situation you're in, or the world? What's your what's your view? As Ah, two by two. Ah. I, I can handle small, medium projects. I'm not sure how big a project, but normal stuff could sort of cope with that. Not necessarily eagerly looking forward to problems, but within reason, I'm okay. As an IT doist, uh, static techniques or with a little movement techniques. A lot of movement, like a, a group attack, not quite, not quite. I just know I wouldn't respond. My response wouldn't be great. But for basic, basic. Yeah, I can kind of do that. Got a sense of yourself in a two by two of you? Okay. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> you, you, two by two. Tell me about you, two by two. <sighs> Definitely. Wider chest, better breathing for me. What's you? Yeah, Bob, I had a very similar thing. The first thing, well, the, the word and the experience came about the same time was confidence. You know, my chest felt puffed out, mm -hmm. and and I, you know, I felt like I could handle things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so again, and daily living, if I find my chest compressing, so I have a lot of body awareness, or it'd be nice if you all had bigger body awareness, and you feel something start to compress, should clue you in. Okay, something's going on. If you can, move to a better level, if you can. Or if you can't, be a little careful. No, it's, it's, it's a little bit of this, so be a little careful. Cautious, whatever the word is. Ah, somebody. This is Patrick. For, for me, my chest was more relaxed. I was able to breathe more easily. And I found myself just having an exhalation uh, in that relaxation, but also a sense of relief that there was more room. And as far as my reaction to the situation, I felt like there was hope now. Yes, there's a chance for me. Yes. 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 Somebody. Two by two or. So, sorry, sorry, Bob. Right right go ahead, Bob. Bob, go. Yeah, um, I found myself turning. There were new directions. Uh, in one by one, I was stuck in mm -hmm. one place. My hands were cold, my feet were cold nowhere to go yeah two by two my hands and my feet are warming up i'm turning oh there are directions here i keto in a phone booth at least i've got a phone booth and i don't want to sit <laughs> the energy is starting to flow yeah okay thank you linda yeah very much the same able to breathe having a little more space and um what really struck me about the first one was how stuck i felt like oh mm -hmm. you know, couldn't 
like not a lot of potential for anything there. Mm-hmm. And uh, in, in two by two, it was like, oh, there's some possibility. There's, yeah. <laughs> there's a little room to, to play, mm-hmm. experiment, yeah. grow. If we get stuck in a certain level, let's say the one by one where uh, you can't maneuver out or something, maybe sometimes we ought to just live with it. If if you're, I don't know what words to use, if you're stuck there, just live with it and, and don't do anything. Sit down and read a dumb book, watch a dumb movie. Uh, I, you know, uh, maybe sometimes not to try to fight it. I'm not saying this well again tonight, uh, but uh, live with yourself as best you can. <laughs> if you get to move to a better level, great. If you can't for whatever reason, don't panic. This too will pass. There'll be a different beat later or tomorrow. Hang in there. Ah, whatever, whatever. Somebody on a two by. Hi, Sensei. This is Andrew. Hey, Andrew. Um, I feel like I'm looking at the world like a teenager. Um, fresh eyes. I forget what that's like. Could you remind me what that means? (laughs) Um, not fully developed. I kind of like a wild horse, you know, you're kind of free, but you don't know any limitation. You're not squared away at a certain level. Uh, um, like for me at level one, I was kind of leaning forward a little bit, not fully standing up straight, uh, mm-hmm. level two, it is kind of like, I feel like I want to stand up straight, but it's not quite there yet. Okay. Yeah. As I say, the different, uh, level, some people's two by two will be a little smaller, whatever others will, they're two by two. They want to have it a bit bigger. Uh, but you're allowed leeway in, in, in there. So the counts are ar- arbitrary. Uh, okay, so did I, again, did I say that right? Am I speaking clearly tonight? Uh, that your first move might be first grade to second grade. Somebody else's first move might be first grade to their third grade. It doesn't matter as long as you, you're using your own uh, system, your own measurement you know my measurements mean something to me the bobby robert nada or the one two three they mean something to me because i have a sense of them for me okay uh blah okay how are we doing people okay so far <clears throat> nothing more on a two by it's sensei uh, oh. yo who that it's tom hey yeah. tom yeah, I felt more more freedom in the two by just a little more, and as almost like create my own space. But I wasn't ready to let anybody else in that space in a two by. I, I'm just starting to feel my own sense of self and having some grounding, some space below the floor. But it's a little tight still to let somebody else in. But much better than a one by, much better. Yeah. So what Tom is saying is he would stay a bachelor a little bit longer than some other guys. <laughs> and, and there's no set rule, right? <laughs> you like three month gap between the ladies. Somebody else likes the six month gap, whatever. So, you know, it's your own count. <laughs> Deal with yourself. Okay, people. Oh. Now, on this one, instead of walking, see what, what I would hate to happen is let, let's say we're getting to a, a seven by seven and somebody uh, calls me and says, Sensei, I can't do a seven by seven because my living room is too small. Did you follow my trajectory there? Uh, ridiculous. It's a metaphor kind of thing to stepping. So instead of stepping, quick moments of the two by two, easy. Ah, two by two, okay. And whatever your form is, a trade-in, a downtime, a clearing, a letting go of everything of a two by, let it all go, 
clear the decks. Ah, ah, and here, click, is the beginnings of a three by easy. I fell asleep. I did downtime. I let go from the two by trading it in your own words, your own style. And, and boom, in the land of three by. This one, I'd like to be a little more circular, centered circular. Ah, instead of the squared away form of two by three by walking. Ah, in a three by easy. I want to pick up the center first. Ah, then for me, the parameters. Remember, I'm a center first guy. First center and then parameters. Now, within that three by, again, certain amount of energy spiraling around or qualities, and they mix me up character. Feel your body. Breathe yourself. Character. Move yourself a little bit. Feel yourself. <sighs> Not in a full character. Three by three mixing. All the energies here in a three by three. Hey. Ah, three by three there. Ah, Whew, I feel taller. Ah, my voice is changing. I can feel it. I can hear it. Ah, ah, my head and neck feels a little straighter, cleaner, clearer. <clears throat> feels like my head's on right, <laughs> whatever that means. Ah, definitely still chestier. I almost want to ask Brad to punch me in the chest a bit. Three by three, I'm character, feel myself, me, me. Up, ah, hips are getting stronger. Now that is two by. Ah, still more under there, but much better than a two by. I don't know if I'm ready to do sumo yet, but getting close, getting close. Okay, feel yourself. If you're an Aikido, what would be comfortable techniques in an Aikido class for you? For example. And or? What's your sense of the situation or the world you're in? Ah, feel yourself. What's your take? What's your sense? Ah. Ah. Brad runs for some yours. Talk to a grant. Yep. Tell them about yours. Yep. Okay. So um, in my three by three, I had a new uh, um, experience. Um, I really felt like it, when I was one by whatever I was hanging on to that was causing issues, um, or you know whatever was holding me up, um, I felt like I didn't have a space in, in the one by. But when I stepped into to the three by. Um, I really felt like there was ample space to, you know, whatever baggage I was carrying in the earlier dimensions, um, you know, I was able to, to just let it go. Um, and, you know, there was space. And, and so, you know, the, in terms of the other attributes and um, other, uh, you know, points uh, was able to, uh, that was all available to me, um, you know, which, which is, which is a nice experience. But, you know, when, when people say to, to say to relax, you know, at the earlier le levels, like I, couldn't relax. I mean, it just wasn't possible. But you know, once you hit three, there was plenty of space to to let go and really place to put all your baggage and and move on. So, um, anybody else have other experiences? And Brad, you're asking for other people to speak up. Yes. Yes. 
Brad, Linda Eskin again. Hi. Yeah. Um, what I noticed first, along with just physically having more space, was the sense that I had a little bit extra to give. Like I maybe could support someone. I could be a little, I could, um, I had a little bit extra to offer to others. Thank you, Linda. Oh. Danny here. Yes, Danny there. <laughs> um, I found um, because you encouraged us to um, settle or um, let go of and, um, I hadn't done that from level one to level two. And I, 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 I now know that I had level one mixed up with, le with, with not the level, sorry. That's our COVID levels. <laughs> um, with um, you, you carried it in one to it. One, they were yeah. all pretty mixed up and I was quite yeah. unstable. Yeah. And having let level uh, two and one go, yeah. I had a strong willingness to walk. Yeah. And a confidence. And when I did mm. take the three steps, I felt like they were probably the best three steps I've taken in the last three months, which is really exhilarating. And, and um, I felt myself filling with lots of energy and then my arms started to swing um, in, in quite an unusual way, swing into the front of myself. Mm. And um, it, it was very, very enjoyable. And I looked forward to every step. Um, yeah, my outlook was much brighter. Yeah. Uh, quick story on uh, the arm swinging. So I'm in the Marine Reserves. I'm 17. Uh, and we're marching and the sergeant sits into the, the squad, whatever, the group. It was a squad, a bigger group. And uh, apparently I'm when I'm marching, I got one arm active and the other one is not activating and he just moved my arm because a marine would be more present squared away at least a three by three -er, and his arms would work that way if you got one arm and a dead arm you're not a marine yet you're a two by twoer no two by twoers allowed in the core <laughs> anyway uh but what you said about carrying A two by into the land of three by clouds the issue. Uh, that's almost a whole topic on itself. Um, but again, isn't that why we clear and really clear uh, so that the next stage set, I can think of it like a curtain closing, and then the next stage set is there and it's a three by three stage set, it's a better stage set, um, that if I still have uh, furniture and, or uh, decor from scene two, and now it's scene three, but that same furniture is there, and it's supposed to be an outdoor scene, it's screwy, it's, it, uh, can't figure this out, wait a minute, it's supposed to be in a park with a park bench, what's that three sectional couch doing there? And a TV set. In the park? No way. Uh, so yeah, we confuse uh, things, but. Uh... I, I think also I was in a hurry to leave that one by one. Oh, I definitely wasn't happy there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I understand that. <laughs> uh, a lot of time, my one by one uh, area is I don't know. And I hate not knowing. So I understand that. Ah, <laughs> that's, that's how it affects me. Anyway. Ah, ha, ha. We okay so far? Anybody else? Sensei, this is Patrick. Hey, Patrick. I found myself um, with three feeling much freer to move and moving in ways that weren't planned or intentional, just moving around 
Yeah. And really enjoying that, you know, not having any agenda for the movements, just letting them come naturally and with a sense of flow. Yeah. Um, and then with respect to the situation, I found myself being more willing to engage beyond myself. Mm -hmm. So uh, in the dating world, Patrick, you got to be a three by three, no less. No less. You ain't going to make it out there in the world, Patrick. You know that now, though. You got that down, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a discussion Patrick and I have sometime about the dating game. <laughs> anyway. Uh, oh, and also what he said about that freer movement. There's a place in Aikido where it may not be heavy group attack, but you got a few folks moving around you and it's a, a light group attack and where you got no agenda, you're just enjoying the movement and free to whatever is what I felt there, yeah? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You wanna try a four by four? We've got a couple of minutes. I think we can do that. Yeah, let's try it. That'll be interesting. That'll be interesting. Okay. Okay. Again, let's not walk it. Uh, three by three. Pretty good. Pretty good. Feel more capable. All of that. Okay. Now, some people are afraid to move on to a four by four because they're afraid they'll lose the, the three by three will get lost. They don't have a good enough sense that, it's sort of, for me, I call it impossible. Uh, that if you like three by, you're gonna love four by. I just trust the, the system of finer to finer to finer, heading towards a more original, and a more original is perfect as hell. Uh, I, I don't have any trouble, I don't think, uh, letting go of a certain level to get to another level, but, in the human condition, we do have that problem. Uh, a lot of guys get so good at a certain level to do any kind of letting go of that or trading that in, they're really afraid because they got so much going on for them at this level. Did I say that right again? Okay. Uh, so why don't people continue and continue? Uh, those things will crop up for some people. Uh, no, this is good enough. Thank you. No more. Is not an unexpected reaction in the human condition. Seen it before. <laughs> so, three by. Some form of trading in your form. Oh, easy, easy. Clearing your form. Easy, easy. I like more depth because it's a fuller picture. And I'll give it a shot. And here is a four by world. I might sort of check it. That should be a center there. It clear circumference there. Uh, semi, semi, uh, but not full enough yet. I'll hit it again. Four by. Feels brighter. There's a lot of twinkling going on in here. I put it in the body. I don't know what's going on with the body. Feel it, feel it, feel it. Ah. Yeah. That's a little bit of vibrancy. Uh, for me in Aikido, uh, energy flow stuff would be ping. Be pretty easy. Pretty easy. Ah. Feel, feel, feel. Feeling before thinking. Feeling, feel. Feeling, feeling, there'll be knowing. Feeling first, four by. The energies in the four by are finer. By law, dimensional pattern. Finer energies mix up. Fuller, finer character. Feel yourself. There's a spring in my step potential. 
I can feel a bounce. If we have a, a jumping contest, at, you know, to how high we can reach or something, I'd be kind of interested in that right now. Feel yourself. In Aikido, I'd want to, uh, I'm not to call it perfection of techniques or sharp. When am I practicing detail? Okay. Detail, something like that. Ah, feel yourself, feel yourself. Four by four. Centered and circled, and circled and centered. Feel yourself. Ah, feel yourself. Four by four. Again, that, uh, I wouldn't say brilliant, it's not brilliant yet, but that sparkly feeling. And I feel it through my eyes, they're sparkling a bit. Uh, uh, I feel uh, almost like I'm feeling an aura or a like glowing a bit. I walked into a room and I'm uh, dating, we're talking about dating. Uh, I feel like somebody there ought to notice. Bing. There's a lot of bing going on. <sighs> Just radiating out a bit. I feel bigger than I normally feel. <laughs> you told, told me, reminded me how little I weigh. I feel temporarily surprised. Really? That's all I weigh? I feel bigger, fuller. Uh, what are you guys getting? Uh, I'm going to call that for me temporarily the sparkling zone or sparkling level. Ah, hey. <sighs> Sensei, I, I really like this one. Um, well, you should. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, this is where I feel like, you know, in some techniques where the energy is flowing out of my fingers, it's flowing beyond me. It's like an energy arm or, <laughs> um, yeah, it. This is, I think this is my favorite. <laughs> so, I, my yeah. five is better, but okay. <laughs> Go, going there, going to get there. <coughs> uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, sometimes we try to teach people to do things when they're in a one and a half by a one and a half, and they can't do them because it's not done at one and a half. It's done at a three by or a four by that's when it can begin to happen okay so teaching them more little details about how to do something it's not too cool help them to get more squared away first yeah 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 but get more squared away so that they're at the level where those things can happen see to go the other way around i it throws me people it throws me Anyway, hey, since, somebody. Uh, since this is Dennis. Hey, Dennis. Uh, you know, I just realized this is the first time that uh, I actually uh, have smiled in the past couple of days. I just kind of caught myself like, oh, wow, I'm smiling as I'm sitting back down here. I don't want to tell a, you, your wife called me the other day and mentioned that. That's why we're doing this. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I'll have to make sure to thank for you. days. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah, there was, a, there was a big there was a big jump for me between one and two, right. because again, you know, the last couple of days I was really just holding on to and really tight, and uh, but the four that I felt uh, a lot more physical support coming from behind mm -hmm. and on, from underneath. Uh, and uh, it felt uh, uh, just a lot of a lot of support that there was there was something there that okay all right we can do this yeah yeah how am I can 
uh, people, can you see how nice this is to, to go from a place where uh, there's virtually nothing, one by one kind of thing, to a place where you're just naturally being supported. You've, you've got your own support. It's, it's always been there. We just haven't been there at that level, that dimension of you, where it's there and it's available. It's not like we had to do a lot of work in a one by to get this to happen. Yeah, we started there. Yeah, we experienced it for a moment. And we moved along. Well, we're always free to move along, learn a few tricks, we can move along faster, fuller, boom, um, get this mix to happen quicker. It's almost can be a Shazam kind of thing. Uh, feel it fuller, feel it fuller, feel it fuller. And the treasures, can we call it that? The treasures that are there, the treasures of support, the treasures of confidence, the treasures of uh, freedom, uh, the treasures of variety of possibilities. Jesus, people, these things are here for us. To me, this is very exciting. When I first realized my very early times in this work to realize this stuff is here, like, oh my God, I couldn't believe that. And it was free. It was just me touching that place and there it was. And basically it was free. It was there. Wow, wow. Remember, I come from a family of workers. You want it, you gotta work hard for it. Uh, yeah, some hard work and learning how to settle and living with yourself and all of that, but not really work. It was there and it was free. Wow, excited the hell out of me. And I see people now, they don't seem excited. You catch something and I say to them, wow. And they go, yeah, what's next, Sensei? You got anything else? Eh. <laughs> what the hell? I don't know what's with the world. What the hell's going on out there? <laughs> Somebody, go ahead. You know, Bob, um, you know, going back to the three, I started to feel a shift almost from, from somebody you would say like you're more center than, than a uh, situation. Uh, but with three, I was ready to go out into the world. I felt a little bit more. And then four, not only out into the world, but like you said, there's, there's this charisma, this, this stuff's coming off of me so that I impact the world without trying. Yes, without trying, yes. I, I, I sort of wanted to say that and I didn't, didn't come up with the words at the moment. Yeah, it's, it's uh, at, at the party where I'm, I'm looking for lady companionship. It's not like you gotta push on them, you, you know? It, it's there, but it's like without trying. You, you just hit that spot and it's like without trying. So in a certain way, it's not work. I'll say that, but yes, yes, thank you. Cool. No excitement in a four by four? Hi, Sensei. This is Andrew again. Yes, Andrew. Um, Give me something good. I used, on, uh, I used the wild horse and the teenager uh, metaphor, and uh, he's now in college. And um, he kind of feels like he can enter, you know, he, he's got a lot more confidence. He's not as wild, but he has the energy, I guess, more mature. Mm -hmm. um, I keep on picturing like, a, it's like, a, it's like a, a knight squire trying to earn his ropes to become a knight. Mm -hmm. kind of halfway in between. Yeah. Yeah. He's not trying to control the horse but he's kind of, they're working as a team. I don't know, that just makes sense to me. No, it's a, a normal good step along the way, you, you know. Uh, hmm. uh, Sensei, this is Dave from Chicago. Uh, Dave from Chicago. Yeah, I, I, I would echo the, the sort of effortlessness that, that comes with the, 
the four by four that the, th the three by three you feel like you have to do something that it's me doing something four by four it's just it's there and and, and it's going to it's going to impact those around you it's it's uh it's tangible yeah yeah well since i had a little difficulty getting that exact description across to me uh, but we did dialogue someplace there about something like this where uh you don't work and yet I can see I can't even repeat his sense of it, but something like we were talking about here, it's just sort of happening, but it's not, you have to work it. But some people, as it begins to happen, go out and sort of work it, and then they kind of lose it. Something like, like that. Uh, but it just had trouble with the words of, you don't really have to work it, but there's something going on, but you don't have to work work at it maybe or something uh i'll have to go over my notes again and, and see if i can get it a bit clearer four by four wow give me a wow somebody sensei chris here from new zealand the yes. um a real awareness of the system like and you're sort of the system's really active really moving you're as a for me sort of physically sort of slightly behind it's you're aware something's moving quicker than you or not quicker, but ahead of you. Hmm. Um, and it's wanting to do stuff, it's active, it's alive. I, I felt that when I put my hand out that there's a moment there where uh, it felt like it was there and then my hand was there, but there was something there and that there, uh, but there was, I had a sense of something there before I went there. <laughs> Bing! <laughs> Hard to describe, but yeah, I got your drift. Thank you, Grace. <laughs> Uh, and say this is Patrick. Yes, um, sir. For me, the physical on four was that I found myself having a downbeat and then in being in an upbeat, a down flow, and then there being an up flow from underneath the ground mm -hmm. uh, that felt as though it was filling me up and making me have a little bit more power. Um, and as far as the situation goes, I found myself kind of being willing to invite people to engage me. You know, I started in one by one with, leave me alone, don't bother me, I've got my own problems. And this time I felt like, oh, I'd, I'd welcome you coming and talking with me. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it's sort of the form that I use, Patrick, where my downtime hits a certain spot and from that spot, the next, light time, if you would, or the next dimensional world that I'm in, the four, uh, four by four, I think. So it's not just me, the character, it's me in the world, the center and the circle, the circle and the center, it, it encompasses all of that. <sighs> yeah. Uh, again, not speaking great tonight. Uh, we're getting close to the end here, people. Anybody all excited about a four by? Yes, yes, I got excited about it, and I like your use of the word uh, treasures. And um, one of them came to me, and that was benevolence. Um, I felt a two uh, uh, a horizontal energy flowing through me backwards and forwards, and there's greenery around me I'm outside and it felt to me like I was in contact without even trying to do anything that the natural world was flowing through me and it reminded me of a benevolent world which I haven't thought of or, or felt for a long time so I really enjoyed it yeah remember the inner core of ourself truer self uh, your qualities are more available and will more readily show or be present, be present. Uh, so benevolence sounds like it might be one of your main ones because it's coming up here. So may not be your first one, but it's it got to be one of the early ones for you because it's showing here. Benevolence. Yeah. Thank you. 
And I'm sure it's not too strange. You're kind of a good family man, as I see you. Uh, uh, so benevolence and being the granddad, the daddy, the boss man there. Uh, I'm sure that's there. So not your first go around on that sense of things. Okay, people, we ate up our time. So enjoy next week, uh, your Thanksgiving. Of course, be careful on the road. Uh, uh, check what level you're going to drive from. One buying ain't going to be good for anybody. Two buying, eh. Uh, I'd up in the holiday traffic, with uh, people being a little crazier, I would uh, get to uh, hopefully a three by three level of you driver. Uh, now at least has a little more outer awareness, reacts a bit faster, better. I'm not asking that much. I'm not saying be a five by driver or six by driver. We're not at the Grand Prix here, uh, but, uh, but do note it and get some extra practice time in. Holiday traffic, take that moment, that two moments, that three moments, three by three as a driver. Okay, yeah. Thank you so much, Sensei. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out. I'm going to end with uh, a sound.